Dr. Sella here, and the three T's of spread formation triple option football are the following. Number one is the triple option. So when you put the receivers out wide, and that's how you want to run the offense, the number one play Army, Navy, and Air Force run when they split the receivers out wide is triple. Whether it's triple option or midline triple option, it's that's what it is. So here's a triple option. And here's midline triple option. That's the number one thing Army, Navy, Air Force did in 2020 on the spread formation. It's not even close. Number two would be the trap. The trap basically is designed to, when the defense is coming up the field, number one's taking the quarterback, you trap and you run to the void. You could trap the three technique. You could end up uh, running it at a B-gap defender and trapping it, but that was number two. And then number three is the toss, where you get in the spread formation and toss it. I don't see them do this a lot because it puts pressure on the A-back to block number two, which is a very tough block because he doesn't have him out flanked. And it's a very tough, it's hard to get leverage. A lot of times the tackle's got to help him and then the guard's got to get past number one and get to the mic, which means you can't get a hat on the free safety. It's why it's always better to toss to a three-man surface and that's what you'll see them do most of the time. But the point of this video is the three T's of spread formation, triple option football, or the triple option with the mid-triple, number one, the trap, and then the toss. Those are the three T's of spread formation football.